Hello, Elijah here at Viking Masic U.S. Headquarters in Oosburg, Wisconsin with a tip of the month video. I'm here today with one of our top selling machines, the ST600. Today I'll show you how to remove its cutting deck and then replace its night blades. For consistent cutting and machine operation, it is essential to have a set of clean, sharp, and fresh shear blades installed to cut the stick package's cross seal. After the stick pack machine creates the cross seal, the cutting deck uses pneumatically actuated shear blades to cut the cross seal in half. The bottom half of the cross seal becomes the top of one stick package, and the top half of the seal becomes the bottom of the next stick package. The cut sticks then fall down the discharge chute and exit the machine. First, before we get to changing the blades, a quick word about safety. Be sure to follow your organization's standard operating procedures for safety, lockout, tagout, and personal protection equipment guidelines. Do not perform work in the machine compartment of an energized and initialized machine. Do not bypass any safety switches or relays. Failure to use caution while working on the machine by not using adequate safety procedures could result in injury or death. With that said, let's get to it. To gain easy access to the shear blades, we first need to remove the cutting deck. To remove the cutting deck, step one, disconnect all the air lines and optionally installed sensor connections that connect the cutting deck to the machine. You may want to mark these for when you reinstall the cutting deck. Step two, pull down and turn the quick disconnect pins that lock the cutting deck to its mounting bracket on the machine to release the deck from the bracket. Step three, with two people for safety, slide the cutting deck forward and lift it off its mounting bracket. Step four, place the cutting deck on a sturdy table upside down for easy shear blade access. To remove the shear blades, step one, with a 5mm hex wrench, loosen and remove the series of M6 bolts holding the shear blade to its pivoting mount. The pivoting mount is spring tensioned. While removing the bolts, press down on the back of the mount to keep the mount parallel to the shear blade, relieving the sideways pressure on the bolts. Remove both blades. Step 2. With a 4mm hex wrench, remove the M5 flathead bolts that attach the anvil blades to the cutting deck. Step 3. Install the new anvil and shear blades. When installing the new shear blades, push down on the pivoting tension mount while tightening the mounting screws to avoid cross-threading them. Step 4. Once the blade is secured, check to ensure the shear blade guide rides on top of the anvil blade throughout its full motion by manually engaging and disengaging the blades. Reinstall the knife deck. With two people for safety, put the cutting deck back on the mounting brackets of the machine and seat the disconnect pins into the deck to secure it. Make sure the quick disconnect pins are fully seated and the deck locks into place. Try sliding the deck back and forth slightly to check. Step 2. Reconnect the air lines and electrical connections removed in Step 1. Step 3. With the machine energized and initiated, test the knife deck for proper operation with the test button on the PLS page. And that's how you replace the knife blades on one of our stick pack machines. If this was helpful and entertaining and you're watching this on YouTube, 
make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also check out some of our other videos of Viking Masic machines in action. Till next time, happy packaging.